Okay, got some uh, wiring materials. <coughs> Sheesh. And also got some, yeah, connectors. Kind of falls under the wire materials ca um, category. I got the uh, tweeter all wired up. The mid range is pretty much wired up, it's all connected to the uh, crossover. And uh, I just have to hook my uh, little uh, female crimp connectors on there. Put the mid-range back in. And, oh, I guess uh, while I'm at it, I should get some wood glue and seal that up. <sighs> well, I'm going to finish up the wiring here. There's really not much to see. It's kind of boring, actually. Well, when I'm done with that, I'm going to uh, clear coat the other side and the back side. I've already installed my little uh, quarter inch audio jack so that is all done and it is all wired up. <sighs> and yeah just got some little stuff to do. Check for leaks. I also have to seal that up too. And then I also have to make sure that quarter inch audio jack works. And luckily I have a uh, cable that will work. Well, let me test it, test that out. So, uh, I'll let you know when I'm all done. Oh, and one last brain fart. Uh, if I can get these done tonight, I will be bringing these in tomorrow into the school. That'll be interesting. Check that out. Designed and built by Jimmy Johnson, class of 2010. Completed on November 30th, 2009. And you know what really pissed me off is while I was writing that? <gasps> I misplaced the comma! Holy shit. I really hate that. Oh well. 32. Okay. Auditorium speaker number one. Cost to build this speaker $320.40. This speaker, again, designed and built by Jimmy Johnson, class of 2010, completed on March 10th, 2010. This is auditorium speaker number one. Oops, no. Auditorium speaker number two. I'm only human. I mis make mistakes too. A lot. Cost to build this speaker, again, $328.40. Hoo hoo. It's almost done. I'm clear coating the back side of the speaker. The other side is now clear coated and it's still kind of drying, but it's. It's uh, in a stage where I can actually just move this over and it won't like dribble off. And I think inside there is pretty much uh, leak free. Don't have foam in it this time like I did with that other one. That was one thing I really didn't want to do. I thought I just put a tiny bit in there and end up filling the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, that was sort of an accident on my part, but it's no biggie. Oh, so aside from a couple of last minute things like chicken leaks, this speaker is complete. All done. All done. Now it's all left to do is wait for tomorrow to come and bring these into school. Well, I'm just gonna have to wait till tomorrow to see to see and hear these in the auditorium. Boy, I can't wait tomorrow. This is going to be absolutely amazing. Check this out. Eh? That's so simple. Gotta love that. Anal intercourse. She fits in there pretty tight. That's what she said. Now it's time to test it. Now I take that thing apart and attach a wire to it. It works on that cable. Sounds good.
I already know that speaker works with that quarter inch audio jack. The same cable connected the same way like that. And it works. And it's all good. All right. It's done. Well, it's 6.36. It is Thursday morning. And I'm just getting ready for school. Well, I'm going to unhook these and get them ready to load up in my car. And, uh, yeah. Alright, let's go take him in. Well, I'm in the auditorium. Those are the JBLs. It's kind of hard to see them actually. Squeaky shoe. Got the speakers on this nice little cart. And I'm going to move them up here and probably take those down. Gotta make sure the soundboard is off. It should be off. Because I don't want to unplug that and have it just go blah. Hey, where are they? Can't even see them. They're over there. That looks better than a set of black speakers up on stands. Nice. Alright, update. I have my laptop set up. It is plugged into their mixer. I have the both speakers hooked up. Um, my only thing is I have to get up into the tech booth and turn on their main amplifier uh, because without the amplifier, we get no sound. So I'm gonna get a janitor to see if he can open that door for me because I need to get up there and turn that amp on. I'm good. The amplifier was off. The whole rack was off. They have two main switches that turns on the sockets. Now to explain why the one extension cord up here wasn't working. So I'll hook that up later so that that's back to normal. Had to get the janitors to open up two doors. Now this thing's gonna tell me I need to activate windows. But you know, I don't care, okay? So we're just having some technical difficulties getting this to send audio through there. It's not the speaker's fault. They're even the JBLs do the same thing. There's no audio going to them. They're hooked up and there's a little bit of amplifier fuzz. So we know that, I know, I know that there's, you know, a signal going to it. It's just getting audio from here uh, to go in here, which it does, because it goes to the cluster speakers. And it should be going out to the amplifier up there. And I think uh, it comes back here or it just goes up there. I'm not quite sure how they have it set up, but We'll figure it out. And maybe they'll be able to use these for their show tonight. Or later or whatever. <laughs> Gonna have that like that, that's good. All right, so uh, what do you we're, I just wanna see what you have. Yeah. Yeah, we just worked seven years. Thanks, uh, buddy. You should put us up there this way. So. We thought it was one or the other, not both. I don't know. Do you know what that? Nah, it's just something. Do you have a little Easter coat? My son, no. Put on Godzilla. There's a lot of stuff that I don't have. I don't do it. Better than George Carlin. George Carlin. Black <laughs> 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 I don't know. I, I, <laughs> you should I'm crack it up. I, I just want to play some music. Let's see. What, what's something they might like? <laughs> Joe Walsh. Do Joe Walsh like some good to me so far? 